Um, okay, now that we've installed the prerequisites, we're just going to quickly go through the actual installation. Um, so first, uh, switch over to the user or Oracle. And again, let's make sure that Java is in Oracle's path. There we go. Okay, and I've saved it to the I saved the jar to the home directory. So let's go there and take a look. Make sure everything's in order. Um, okay, so I've created uh, we saw in the blog I created this directory web logic and I, I changed the ownership to use Oracle Group DBA. Um, so okay, now we can just uh, go ahead with the install. Um, it's important to uh, not only add the XMX here at the beginning, but also to set the, the perm gen size. If you don't do that, you're going to get out of memory errors during the installation. And there we go. Okay, next. And create a new middleware home. Okay, we're in home here, and this is directory created web logic. Okay, all good. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. Yes, yes, and I confirm. Continue. Um, we're going to just do custom just to see what it looks like. Uh, you can just do typical as well. Uh, go ahead and add server examples. Uh, you know, take a look. Anything you want to uh, add or remove here. And next. Okay, so it's detected our, our JDK that we installed. That's good. And next. Um, I selected coherence on the... Uh, um, I, I, on the previous installation screen, so it's going to install that as well. Looks fine. Next. Okay, again, everything we're going to be installing. Next. Okay, and the installation starts. So go the way and take a look at our output here if anything comes up. Uh, this is going to take a few minutes here. I'm going to pause it to sort of fast forward. Okay, so. Um, again, uh, make sure you put on the, to set the, the max perm size uh, when, you, when, you, uh, when you do the installation. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oops. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, installation is complete. Um, leave a uh, quick start, we're going to run quick start 2 and set up a domain here. Okay, click done. Okay, and now we'll do click uh, getting started. Configuration wizard, uh, create a new web logic domain. I accept the default here. Okay, give it a name. Next, uh, I'll leave the default as the administrator. Okay, and next. 
Now you can choose development mode or production mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead with uh, production mode here. Um, now you can like to do some additional configuration. I'm going to do the administration server and, and create a couple of managed servers as well. Okay, accept the default here for admin server and next. And let's add a couple of managed servers here. Blog and some other site. Okay, ports. Okay, I'll leave the clusters. Machine configuration. Okay, so here's the uh, here's what we're going to be putting in here. Let's take a quick look and hit create. Okay. Uh, demand created successfully, and that's it for now. Um, now uh, we're going to go ahead in the next part, and we're going to try to start our domain.